Hi, this is Herman Eng, Solution Engineer from MuleSoft, which is also a part of uh, Salesforce. So recently, I helped at a NGO uh, with a scenario to automatically create campaign member status. And I saw like online on idea uh, page that like in fact many of 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 the folks out there have the same uh, requirement and uh, and hoping that like Salesforce will come up with a feature that is out of the box. But in fact, it's actually uh, not difficult to configure uh, a process to automatically create uh, campaign member status. So in this video, I'm going to show you how. But uh, but before I would get to that, so I just want to show like illustrate in case you don't know it, don't know it yet. It's actually out of the box way, right? but it's not it's not built for mass like campaign, right? So so you can per campaign add campaign member status. So let's just take a look in like let's say if I when I want to add a, a contact to a campaign, right? By default, there's only two status, right? So this is not uh, a lot of time. This is not enough, and we want to give. Uh, have additional option here. So the out of the box way is to go to the campaign record and if you don't already have it yet, add the campaign member statuses related list to the page. Right? Once you add once you have this on the page, then you can manually add campaign member status like so. Right? And then let's let's try one. Let's say invite that and and then you can optionally choose whether it's that responded or not. So once we have it, then if we try to uh, add to campaign again, let's just refresh this page just in case. Okay, let's select couple contact again. Right, select my campaign, which is campaign one, and now we have the new member status. But of course, this is something you need to do per campaign. So if you need to do the same thing for many many campaigns this is of course not like effective or efficient so that's what we we want to have a way to automatically do that okay so next i want to show you how exactly to uh, automatically create campaign member status uh, using flow in this case we're going to uh, use record type as the condition but in fact you can uh, use any other uh, condition you like and I'll show you where to do that. So uh, this is uh, the, the high level step right uh, and so using flow and then in this word document as you see on the screen here I have the screenshot of the end result so in case you need a snapshot and of course you will see that in, in shortly too. So this is the flow uh, process it only it's not complicated or complex at all, you only take like four activity to do it. And then I have here a screenshot of each of the step. So in case uh, you need to uh, have a reference. Okay, but we'll do create all this next. Okay, so let's do that. So let's move this window away. So the first thing you need is you need your campaign record type ID. So I'm assuming you already have the campaign record type created. So the the record type ID is you can get it from the URL when you are viewing the record type in setup. So basically it's this uh, value here. So I'm going to copy that. So we'll need that later on. Okay, so now we're going to go to flow and we're going to create a new flow. And we're going to use the record triggered flow because we want this process to or flow to trigger when we create a campaign. So two things we need to uh, select is some option here. So we want it, the record, we want this to get triggered when the record is created and we want to trigger after record is saved. So we'll keep it as default. And the object of course is campaign. Okay, then we're going to make a decision. We're going to check the campaign record type. And in this case, we are looking for the event record type, which is the one I have. And then here, we're going to select the record uh, campaign. And then we're going to look for the record type. So there are multiple. So I, I make this uh, mistake in the past is I selected the wrong record type here. This is campaign member. What we need is just the record type ID. So this is the one for the campaign. 
uh, campaign record type or campaign record type ID for the event. Then here we're going to paste the value that we uh, that I got just uh, in the last step, and then click done. Then we're going to use an assignment activity to build the list of status. So let's call this list of status. And then here we're going to create the, the variable. So we're going to do that. So we're going to create the variable. Let's call this status. The data type should be text and we allow multiple. So basically what we're doing is the equivalent programming world is we are defining an array of text. So basically it's a variable, the other the text, and then we allow multiple, so it's an array. Okay, so done. And, and here we're going to use the operator add instead of equal because we want to build out this array of status. And we're so in this example, I'm going to use three different status. I'm going to use invited, uh, SVP, yes, and uh, SVP, no. So as you can see, complain about my valid value. In fact, you, the, the reason is I'm using the wrong operator. Okay, so just make sure your operator is all using add and with the value inside. Click done. And this, this box sometimes is a bit tricky. You want to go back in and double check all the value are still there. Sometimes I notice that like depending on your the sequence of your click, the last one is not entered. So just make sure every box have a value. Okay, then we're going to put this array through a loop. So let's say loop of status. And we're going to select the collection. So, in, so there's only one, right? Uh, uh, so far, so this is simple. We select the status, and then the option here: last, uh, first item to last item, or last item to first item. This is not that important in this case, so we just keep it default. Either way, it will work. Then the last action is the key, because this is where we're going to create campaign member status, and we need to select one. So, so it may seem logical to select multiple because we want to create multiple campaign member status. But because we are doing it in a loop, and each time each loop should create only one, keep it as one. But of course, like just like everything else in Salesforce, there are multiple ways to do certain things. So, I mean, then I'm sure there's another way we can not use a loop and then maybe do multiple here, right? So, but in this case, because I'm using a loop, so I'm using this. Uh, uh, option. Then we're going to use separate resource and uh, value here. So of course the object we want is campaign member status. And here is where we're going to define the field. So the first field that's important is the campaign ID. So we can grab that from the campaign record, look for ID. Right, so we want campaign ID. Then we want the member status label, which is the status from the loop. So that thing is called current item from loop, loop of status. In case you call your loop something else, then this part will be something else, right? But this is the one. Then you can also see that optionally, you can set some other field uh, like is default or has responded if you want all the status you're going to create uh, has respond. You can mark it to true, like so. And it probably won't make sense to set default here because you don't, you wouldn't want all of them to be default. It won't allow you anyway. So, so in case you need to do that, you can do it afterwards. And I'll talk about that shortly. So that's it. So we're going to click done, right? And we're going to double check it. So it looks good. So I'm going to double check each of them. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, the last thing we need to do is to link all the activity together. So we just drag and drop from the circle at the end to the next activity. Just so make sure it's connected. And then we're going to drag decision to assignment. And in this case, it's going to ask you to pick something. It's going to pack, ask you to pick one of the outcome. In this case, we only have one so far, so that's easy. But this is exactly where, in case you want to later on, you want to add another branch, you want to create start a different set of member status for different record type, then you would make a new decision and then you have another choice here. 
right? But in this case, we're going to select event. And then we'll keep going. And then from the loop, we're going to point to create record. And in this case, we're going to give you two options for each item or for after last item. So of course, we're going to select for each item. But as you can imagine, you can also have another branch. So after you run through the loop, you can continue. You can say have another branch that perform some action after the last item. And that would be where you can use, like put extra update record to, let's say, set one of the status to default or set some of them to has responded. And then one last thing, so now they're all connected, but one last thing you need to do is to drag the create record back to the loop. So to complete the loop. Okay, I'm gonna click save one more time to call this flow create member create campaign member status save okay and then let's just double check the assignment one more time looks good and then that's it and then we're going to activate this flow all right so let's take a look and see uh, if it works so now i'm going back to campaign page let's do let's create a new campaign event and create this event campaign. Successful, and we can see right here. Now, not only we have the default send and responded member status, we also have the other three that we put in the flow. All right, so it's as simple as that. And then just to complete the exercise, we can also come here, select the contact, add to campaign. And if we select the original the other campaign, we only have two or, fr or three we have earlier, but now if we select event campaign, then we have more choices. Add that to the campaign, come back here, maybe let's just do, do a refresh. So we have the campaign member and we have the uh, special status. So that's it. And then maybe one last comment coming back to the flow is uh, in case uh, some of you are not, uh, haven't worked with process in Salesforce up to now. One thing about the process in Salesforce is that every time you want to change something, you would need to uh, uh, save it as a new version or in process builder, it will be clone, clone it as, as a new version before you can activate it. So basically you come to this page, let's say you want to in the future want to add another status, uh, best is to deactivate it like so. Let's, let's do it now. Uh, let's do one example. Add another status, All right? Make sure this is add. And let's say, um, let's say we, we add in another status, click done. And then we we'll save as a new version. Then after that, activate. So every time you want to make a change, you do have to save it as a new version, and then act, and then it will be effective again after you activate. It. All right, so that's it. Hopefully, this can help some of you and uh, with your uh, campaign member status requirement. Thank you.